Okay, today we're going to be uh, looking at um, writing out our script. I gave you a uh, tutorial, a very basic tutorial before this on making a pop-up window, but now we want to create a window with um, shape to it so it's not a square or rectangular window, but we can actually take an image and put a shape, uh, put that image with the transparency uh, background on it and, um, and basically have the window take that shape. So we're going to look at the very basics of that today. We're going to, I'm going to use Vim as my text editor, but as always, use text editor that you are comfortable with. And I'm going to say Vim, and I'll just call this go.py. And we're going to start off with our shebang line, because we should always start off our scripts with a shebang line. And since this is a Python script, we're going to tell it to use the Python environment. We're going to import the GTK module, because that's what we're going to use to create our windows. And we're going to create a class, and we'll call this class my object. You can call it whatever you want. That's uh, just what I'm going to call it. And just for fun, I'm going to make it a capital M, capital O. And then we're going to um, define the uh, what's going to happen when this object is called. So define function init for initiate. And we're going to pass it self uh, variable. And now inside here, we're going to start creating our window. So we're going to we'll just call it win, and we're going to say equals GTK dot window with a capital W. And um, we're going to cr connect that. Uh, well, I'll get to that in a minute. I'm trying to think of the best order to show you stuff. So we'll create it, and then we'll just show it for now win.show. Next we're going to create uh, another object. We're going to create a pixmap object and a mask object. And we're going to create that from the GTK uh, module. So gtk.gdk.pixmap underscore create from XPM and we're going to say win dot window comma none and then we're going to give it our image here I have a file called me.png I showed you in a previous tutorial that is uh, an image of me with a transparent background. <clears throat> okay. And don't worry, I'm going to have all this, uh, this entire script in the first link in the description, so go ahead and check that out if you uh, come across any issues. Next, we're going to create an object, and it's going to be a gtk.image object. And then we're going to say image dot set from pixmap, and we're going to use the objects we already create: our pixmap object and our mask object. So basically, we're going to create an image, and the pixmap is going to be the image, and then we're going to use the transparent layer, the mask, to mask out uh, everything else. So we have that. Next, we're going to say win.add, and we're going to add in our image. <clears throat> so that's taking the window that we created, win, and we're adding the image to it. Next, we're going to uh, assign a shape to that window. So what we're going to do is we're going to say win.shape combine mask. So we're going to use the mask, comma, zero, comma, zero. And then what we'll do here is we'll say win.show underscore all. And I'm going to explain some of this here in a minute. But then we're going to call the class that we just created. We're going to say my object. And then we're also going to start gtk.main. Otherwise, the script will continue and basically will run and close before you even see it. So we're creating an object. It's a GTK window object. 
we're showing it here. And even though we're doing show all down here, if I remember correctly, when I was testing all this out, you have to make the window visible before you can apply this other stuff to it. So make sure you have that there. And then we're going to create two objects, PixMap and Mask. This is going to be basically our image, and this is going to be our mask, our transparent layer. And basically we're calling some GTK stuff, and we're going to assign it to our window uh, object. I don't remember what none is here. That's just an option we're not using, basically. And then we have uh, me.png, which is the image we're using. So we're going to use the image from that for PixMap, and then we're also going to use the transparency layer for that to create a mask. Then we're creating an image object, a GTK image, and we're going to basically use the, the settings from the PNG. We're going to use the image and the mask. Next, we're going to add that image to our window. So we have a window and we have the image with the transparent layer, but right now if we were to show that, uh, basically you would see the image, but you would see the window behind it still. So we have to shape the window based on the transparent mask from our image. And then we're showing everything and basically running everything. Now we're not completely done here, as you'll see when I save this. And we're going to use change mod plus x to make it executable. And then dot slash the name of our file. And there I am. You can see it's a transparent background. You can see the image in the background there. But I still have my window. So that, that's fine if you if that's what you want. You want uh, if you want a, a border still around the image. But that's not really what we're going for in our little setup here. Uh, we didn't set uh, anything to kill the um, script when we close the window. So even though we close the window, uh, GTK main is still running. So we'll just hit Control C at this point to kill that out. And we will go back into our window, our, our script here. And the first thing we need to do is get rid of that border. And if you watch the previous tutorial, if you're watching this series in order, all we have to do is come here to where we created the window. And what we're going to do say is we're going to say um, GTK. Oh, go into edit mode first, insert mode. GTK dot all capital window pop up. That changes the window from being just an ordinary main window to being a pop-up window, which means there's no border on it. Do that, and there we are. Uh, it's me without an image uh, or without a border, and I can't move or resize it or anything because it's a pop-up window. So I'll click back in the terminal and hit Control C to kill that. Go back into our text editor, and let's uh, let's let's right now let's um, set it so that we can close the window uh, when we click on it. So basically, all this program is going to do is going to display the image uh, without any border, just as we saw. But when you click on it, it closes everything. So we'll just add a, uh, another function, or yeah, another function right in here. We'll say define close app location. Whoops, location. If I could type today. Okay, and we're going to say self dot or sorry self. <clears throat> comma widget comma event comma data equals none and we're going to say gtk dot main quit it's basically when this function uh, is run we're going to quit the gtk main which is constantly running keeping our script running so it doesn't close, but we need to connect that to something. So we're going to connect it to our window. So down here, right after we create the window, we're going to say win dot connect. And we're going to say, <clears throat> we're going to connect it to that's that uh, function we just created, but when we're going to create, we're going to say when the window event, when it's deleted, and we're going to say self dot close underscore application so that's the function we just created right here we're going to add a few other things right here we're going to say win dot set event and we're going to say uh, win dot get events gtk dot gdk dot button press mask 
win dot connect button press event comma self dot close underscore application so what we're saying here basically in a nutshell is if um, basically if our window event if the if the mask button that we created is clicked or if we close our window in any way we're going to run this function and that will quit our program our script so we'll save that and if I typed everything right I got an error so I didn't um, I spelt application wrong at some point let's go into our script and look here a p p l i t oh, that's, that's, there's the issue right there okay now try to run it and still get an error set event Oh, that, let's see. We'll go back in there. That's it's set events. That's the problem. So, once again, most of the time, when you're doing basic little scripts like this, the uh, little errors you're going to get at first are going to be typos like that, at least in my case, because I just type stuff wrong all the time. There we go. So everything worked. I have an image of myself, no border. I got a transparent background. The window is shaped like it. When I click on it, it closes our script. Only other thing we might want to add to this at this point is since it's set to always set up uh, start at the top left corner of the screen, uh, we can set, now set it to be in other places on the screen. Which actually, um, just to keep this tutorial short, I'm going to stop there and pick up in our next tutorial. If you're watching from the playlist and you have the playlist going, hopefully it will start playing the next video here in a moment. If not, there should be an annotation up on the screen that will allow you to um, view all the videos in the playlist. So go ahead and click on that. Thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. And I hope that you have a great day.